One of the many scientific mysteries left to solve is the brain. How does it work? How did it evolve? What can be done to repair it when it is sick or injured? Studying the brain demands that a scientist be creative, versatile, and flexible, qualities that define biologist Fernando Nottobaum. Stem cells are in the news a lot these days. These immature cells that can develop into a variety of cell types could provide a cure for diseases of the brain, like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. But until recently, it was commonly believed that there were no stem cells in the adult brain. Fernando Nottebaum's work changed all that. But he did not start his career looking for stem cells. In fact, he almost didn't go into science at all, despite his love of biology as a young man growing up on a ranch in Argentina. I had been discouraged from doing that because I realized that if I studied biology, I wouldn't be able to stay at home. So I tried ranching for a year. But he was drawn back to science, and that calling had a very specific tenor, the diverse melodies of songbirds. I was very interested in birds as a child. I had them as pets, and I enjoyed watching them in the wild. They provide the only good animal example of vocal learning other than humans. His career started with one simple but powerful question. How do animals, like birds and humans, learn to communicate vocally with each other? Male canaries learn brand new and extremely complex songs each spring. Nottebaum and his research team saw that the brains of the canaries appeared to change size over the course of the year. They changed seasonally so that they were quite large during the time of year when the birds were singing their very complex song. And then at the end of the breeding season, as singing stopped, and the size became considerably smaller. And that, that was very, very perplexing. That's because at the time, nobody thought that animal brains could grow after reaching adulthood. To get to the bottom of this mystery, Nottebaum tagged brain cells, or neurons, with molecules that he could trace. Surprisingly, he found that new cells, called stem cells, were being created all the time in the large cavities within the brain. We were able to see where the stem cells were. We were able to describe how they migrated from where they were born to where they'd settled down to, to work. Nottebaum's tags show that the new cells were replacing dead neurons in the brain. In this case, in areas of the bird's brains that controlled singing and learning. Studies in other laboratories corroborated Nottebaum's findings and proved that this replacement of neurons is not limited to birds. It is a normal, everyday part of brain function in all vertebrate animals, including humans. So now you, we, we have in place a full choreography for a process of death and replacement that I believe serves the main purpose of rejuvenating some circuit functions that otherwise would uh, deteriorate as a result of aging. For Nottebaum and his research team at Rockefeller University, rejuvenation is a term that applies just as much to their scientific approach as it does to the bird brains they study. Nottebaum is that rare scientist whose research ranges from biological field studies to molecular biology in the laboratory, a comprehensive, far-reaching approach that Nottebaum says is vital to continuing scientific discovery. It seems to me that if you triangulate on a problem from many different angles, you are more likely to get at the center of the issue. It's something that I insist on very much in my laboratory because I think it almost guarantees a constant process of rejuvenation. The search is now on in laboratories around the world to develop stem cell therapies for brain injuries, such as those caused by stroke and degenerative brain diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. It's a search that Nottebaum is proud to have pioneered. There are so many different forms of brain damage, and most of them until now are all sad stories for which there's very little we can do. What I would love to see is that ability to reconstitute broken circuits. Literally, the brain breaks down in some place and, and, and it goes through the shop and we can fix it. The 2006 Benjamin Franklin Medal in Life Science is awarded to Fernando Nottebaum for his discovery of neuronal replacement in the adult vertebrate brain and the elaboration of the mechanism and choreography of this phenomenon, and also for showing that neuronal stem cells are the responsible agents, thereby generating a completely new approach to the quest for cures for brain injury and degenerative disease.